Gana fo ye ni nim se ye enka kra enka kra enka kra ye na ye kwa koto aba akabe se I think se four months usa hen ye kwa koto aba Gana fo se se bibi a Gana e kwe se bompa e ma oma yenga na because things are happening kufu sina doye e chima wu nyan serious accidents pa a he barely survived we MPP amani kono mu communications director mwa in a serious accident or go to the hospital up to now we don't know his update se we will film and I say, Unfim, we're gonna fall. Today, be a man, I should hang your bomb pie and more man gun. I said, They're good to dream my young bomb pie and more man gun. I seriously, because in some of my customers, I feel they are very strange. Can I for any quan? I hear some serious disputes by a cost between the, the current president of the Republic of Ghana and the former president of the Republic of Ghana. Serious into a couple of pound a cost between a year and another damn quite a cufado and a former president John Dramani Mahama. Now, to quite nina is all about eh, this Ijapadie eh, document. I can was sent some few um, days ago. This Ijapadie eh, document. Ah, now do ampa I reply since you know I did we part here. I have found President John Dramani Mahama in him hobby. So now eh, President, eh, sorry, eh, Excellency, Eddie eh, Tudra. Eh, in a eh, this year, eh, President Eddie eh, Tudra. And I got now for eh, I found President John Dramani Mahama. I'm just saying in a this year, just say Eddie Tudra say he knows nothing about it. Our man is some serious reply. I eh, am eh, a Ghana for me, and says the way things are going. Let us pray very hard for this country. Young Bompa, I'm on my Ghana. You know, young Bompa, I'm on my Ghana. If we really want Ghana to go well for us, now to quite be an incident during this elections, none part in Ghana for young Bompa, I'm on my Ghana. Tia Semba, and I couldn't put Tisa and Simon Trimumbra, Madame Wina, I said. Somebody says, I have only four years, and that person has the opportunity for eight years. A good leader in four years can do much more than a bad leader in eight years. Recently, there was an issue about a document called a Japadia. They said it's fabricated. But it means we launched our campaign on the 27th of July, that was last Saturday, and um, we immediately decided that um, we will fan out in different directions. As you know, Nana Jane is in Central Region and has started her campaign there, and I decided to come home to Upper East to come and start my campaign here, and I chose Boko. And I chose my home, Boko, as the first port of call. And so this morning, uh, we're starting the national campaign uh, here in Boko. We've already gone indoors and spoken to my father, the Boko Naba, and uh, we've discussed a few issues. Uh, but there are a few issues that I think that uh, I should say publicly so that we all are on the same wavelength. On 7 December, we have the opportunity to go and vote in both the presidential and parliamentary elections. That is the beauty of democracy. It gives us every four years the opportunity to make a change. And I do think that on 7 December, Ghanaians are going to vote for change. They are going to vote for change for several re reasons. Uh, the first being that we need to send a signal both to the country and to the international community that we are not satisfied and happy with what is going on in Ghana. A vote, a vote for NPP again will be a vote for a third term for Nana Akufuado. And it will send a signal to the rest of the world that we are happy, we are satisfied with what has gone on over the last eight years. I've met several investors and all of them are saying they are waiting to see the results of the election before they come and invest their money here in Ghana. And so we should not make a mistake with this particular election. It is an election like no other. The stakes are the highest. It will determine the future of our country. The second is we need to hold this government accountable for the hardship, the crisis that they subjected Ghana to, for the state capture that they have implemented in Ghana over the last eight years. 
buy every state property, buying all the government lands, amassing wealth to themselves. Recently, there was an issue about a document called a Japadia. They said it's fabricated. But even if it's fabricated, the implementation is not fabricated. Because everything... Because every, everything that is written in that document has been implemented. So if really somebody sat and fabricated that document, then the person can really read the minds of people. Because how they could have written that document and read the minds of Nana Akufuado and his family, that this is what they were going to do, that person is a proper creative writer. Because everything in that document has been implemented. And so the implementation cannot be fabricated. So they must be held accountable. And that is why Nanado says he will not hand over to John Dramani Mahama. Because he knows that when I come, I will hold he and his family and his government accountable for what they have done. And so, they want their vice president to take over from them so that he can come and cover their backs. It is not going to happen. NDC is going to win the election. And those, those who have made the people of Ghana suffer by misappropriating the wealth of the people, by abusing their office, will be held accountable for what they have done. But I'm always quick to add that when we come into government and we appoint people into office under our government, the same measure that we met out to the outgone MPP administration is the same measure we shall deal with our own people in our government if they do the same thing that the MPP has done. And so, I want all of us, I want all of us to turn out in our numbers and vote. There's a mopping, a mop up exercise that is currently going on. And so those who still haven't had the opportunity to register, this is your last chance. Because as far as I know, this is the last time the Electoral Commission is going to open the register before we go for elections. And so for the young people who are 18 and above, who still haven't had the opportunity, please take advantage of it. It's just a three-day exercise. I think this is the third day, or the sec third day. And so this is your last opportunity today to go and register so that you can vote. There are many issues that have been raised by uh, Boko Naba. And one is the issue of the government hospital in Boko. If you remember, in 2016, it was a major campaign promise that if NDC won the election, we will build a first-class government hospital in Boko so that you don't have to travel. So that, so that you don't have to travel to Bolga and to Tamale to seek medical care. There is a hospital we're building in Garu, which unfortunately has been abandoned. I can assure the people of Garu that when we come, we'll continue and finish that hospital too, so that they can have access to modern healthcare facilities. There are many projects that we were working on that unfortunately have stalled. I remember I cut the sword for the start of the Bolga Boku Pumakon Road sometime in 2015. We expected that that road would have been completed today. As of now, the contractor has left site and the road has been abandoned. I can assure you and assure my father, Boku Naba, that when we come, we'll tackle that road and finish it. We also... We also... Professor Mills... Professor Mills conceptualized the idea of the Eastern Corridor project. And we started it in the time of Professor Mills. I came and I continued it and did the segment between Nakwanduri 